97 DS controller change. Here's the new one by FSIP. It is replacing the green T-shaped controller bolted underneath there. Double solenoids and the one coil. Going to reuse the existing motor. And I put in four 12 volt batteries to get my 48. There's the foot pedal. And there is not, not a run toe switch. It's an external charger and I'm probably going to bypass the OBC. And this is the OBC that does not have the plug in it. It goes right over to the harness. They'll say there's a six plug or whatever, but this controller does not have that. It goes right down to that plug. Some of the wires go all the way down. So, this is the beginning of it. What I noticed is the plug-in that we have on this cart, on the original diagram, has 13 wires that go into it. That's that plug that says Z14 and Z1. There's 13 wires in that one. And then if you look at the plug for the harness, they only use 12. So there's an extra red wire, but I believe when they bypassed and put the two white wires on the same post and got rid of the green wires in that coil, had something to do with it. I'm gonna torn all button her all up and take her outside. More significant information, this is a 14 pin plug. Black T-shaped. That's the uh, problem. What I noticed is the plug-in that we have on this cart, on the original diagram, has 13 wires that go into it. That's that plug that says Z14 and Z1. There's 13 wires in that one. And then if you look at the plug for the harness, they only use 12. So there's an extra red wire, but I believe when they bypassed and put the two white wires on the same post and got rid of the green wires in that coil, had something to do with it. I'm going to torn all button her all up and take her outside. Everything's hooked up. There's one extra wire that goes up to the controller. And it's not in the new diagram. So, turn on the key, put her in gear, reverse, and it works. Tight forward. That's just crazy. It actually worked. Does not fit the right bolt pattern, but to take these out, you just have to whack them. Put a little collar and break them. The little washer pops right off. So I 
re-drilled the holes right here to catch the back two corners and there's one third one here. I'm gonna take a piece of aluminum, go across there, squeeze it up with a nut and a bolt. Um, I did reuse the same hardware. Um, and again, just knock those out and there's a little collar. That little piece just comes right off that washer. After you remove that coil, it's attached to this fiberglass chunk. I'm going to take the fiberglass chunk, line it up with the hole right here, cut the fiberglass, and use it as my backing plate. Super solid. And the same hardware. Your controller is in. I'll have to give her a first test drive and see. Reverse. Works. Definitely got to go outside. We go for our first ride. Three speeds. <laughs> 